Hey guys, we're going to be looking at exterior angle of a triangle in this session. Let's get started. So first off, let me just show you guys what or where the exterior angle of a triangle is. When you have a triangle like this and you got this one little line sticking out, so let's just color these in first. Now the red angle just outside the triangle, the one right here, this is called an exterior angle. Now the two green ones, these ones are called the interior opposite angles. There's one there and there's another one there. Now the idea behind this is that the exterior angle is actually the total of the two green angles, the interior opposite angles. So as I was saying guys, the exterior angle is the sum of two interior opposite angles. Now, annoyingly, this is probably the longest uh, geometric reason, reasoning reason that you'll have because this is what it actually looks like. You've got exterior angle of a triangle equals sum of interior opposite angles. Now, you might wonder, you know, how is this possible? I'm going to show you guys real quickly how this proof is possible in the next slide. And um, hopefully after that, we'll do a couple of examples and then we'll be done. So, here's the proof for how this actually comes about. Say we've got a triangle like this, and we've got X, which is the exterior angle right now, the red one, and then we've got two interior opposite angles, which are the two green ones, which is 70 and 50. Now, let's say you have got no idea of how this proof works. What would you normally do? And normally, what you would do is, you probably try and figure out this little angle first. Let's call this Y for now. So, we know that angles in a triangle equals 180. So then we can say y plus 70 plus 50 equals 180 degrees. Now from there we know that y plus 120 degrees equals 180. Rearranging we're going to get y equals 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. So simplifying this we get y is equal to 60 degrees. Now we know the reason for this. So the reason for this is angles of the sum of angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so we got y. Because we have y, we can actually figure out what x is. Because x angle x and angle y are part of a straight line. So we can say angle x plus y equals 180 degrees. Which means angle x plus 60 degrees because that's what we figured out previously at the top right there. This equals 180 degrees, which means rearranging, we get x is equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees, which means we've got x is equal to 120 degrees. Again, we can write the reason for this, which is angles on a straight line, which add up to 180 degrees. Now, as you can see, to try and actually figure out what X is, you've got to do so much work. And I guess this is where we can kind of see how that exterior angle is just the sum of interior opposite angles. So, as I was saying, the exterior angle is the sum of two interior opposite angles. So, we've got X, which equals 70 plus 50. It's as straightforward as that. So x is equal to 120 degrees. As you can see, both answers that you see on the right side and the, just what we worked out right now, it's exactly the same things. Except in this case, you do it in two lines. On the other case, you, you know, you've got a hell of a lot of working to do. And of course, with this one, if you are going to do this, is write your reasoning down, which is exterior angle of a triangle equals sum of interior opposite angles. Okay, let's look at maybe one or two examples, and we'll be done after that. So here's our first example. We've got x. Well, we need to figure out what x is. x is an exterior angle. We've got two interior opposite angles, which is 80 and 40, which means this is quite straightforward. We can say that x equals 80 degrees plus 40 degrees, which means x is equal to 120 degrees, and we're done. Oh, but of course, don't forget your geometric reasoning which is that really long reasoning. Exterior angle of triangle equals sum of interior opposite angles. 
All right, let's look at another example. So as, you, as usual, in this example, we've got to try and figure out what x is. Except this time, x is actually one of the interior opposite angles. But, I mean, nothing really changes here. I mean, we know that the two interior angles add up to the exterior angle. So we can say x plus 70 degrees equals 100 degrees. So from here, we can say x is 100, take away 70, which means x is equal to 30 degrees. And as usual, don't forget our little geometric reasoning there. And that's about it, guys. Um, that's all you need to know for exterior angles, which, well, exterior angle of a triangle, which is the sum of the two interior opposite angles. Okay, uh, that's all for this session, guys. Thank you for watching.